So what what we get in this is lambda. So what is the wavelength of the particle? De Broglie matter wave wavelength is two l two lambda by three. Then we know lambda equal to h by momentum. H by two m k is asking the kinetic energy of particle. So lambda you put two l by three and solve it. So uh, why sinusoidal? Why not any other shape? I think it's uh, beyond our level to stress anything. Just leave that. Nothing to do with the problem. So what is the wavelength of De Broglie matter waves that he has shown in the graph? So that is what one cycle we know. So that is lambda. You calculate two l by three, and then carry on. Squaring on both sides, so we'll get expression for kinetic energy. And you see that uh, around easily, if you count no advance, twenty uh, more than twenty times they've asked. Uh, and what else you get in De Broglie matter waves? Hmm? What else you will ask? <laughs> Based on formula only, not beyond that much, or related to some other thing like a, a electron beam in YDSC. You may bring some De Broglie matter waves concept. Or in atomic physics, or in induced electric field, also you may bring. So, due to induced electric varying magnetic field, induced electric field will be there. Due to that induced electric field, electron will move. You may bring. So, the De Broglie matter waves is all about <coughs> h by mv. And the basic theory is like, what do you mean by matter waves? What is the idea of that one? The electron revolving in an that atom, it's a wave packet. It's not a particle. When you subject that to for observation, you see particle. But basically, what it is, it's a wave packet. There, it is being like an energy. Means, when the matter subjected to an observation, it will, so like a, when it will appear for us as a matter. Otherwise, it's a form of radiation. That's what we concluded. Is it only for subatomic particle? No, as the matter is quantized. No, even at macroscopic, we do see like that. That's what the modern quantum mechanics is telling. So what all the total universe is what like? Uh, either it be in the form of matter or radiation. That's what the De Broglie hypothesis is telling. No, that one. So when matter subjected, when certain object subjected to observation, it will behave like a matter. Otherwise, in the form of radiation. That's what we come.